Uh, welcome once again to Nurse on the Go video. Today we're going to learn how to take a pulse. Um, it's a forgotten art form in nursing. A lot of people go straight to machinery and you know try and take a set of obs without touching a patient, which I find hard to believe, but it does happen. So I want to just take you through how to take a pulse, where you can take a pulse and what to look for. So places to take a pulse from are radial, so down here in the wrist. Um, we can take a brachial, we can also take a carotid pulse or a femoral pulse, pop a teal, um, down in the uh, posterior tibialis and then the dor um, dorsal pedis pulse as well. But today we're going to practice with a radial pulse. Now taking a pulse, I'm not just taking a pulse, okay? I'm feeling for the patient's temperature, feeling if there's any tremors, feeling their skin condition, are they clammy, are they you know, dry skin, is their skin fragile, is it nice and plump? So you're not just taking a pulse, think of everything that you're doing, all the information you're trying to gather from looking at a person. Is their hand pink, uh, is it pale, you're talking to them, it helps relieve their anxiety, because a lot of patients are quite nervous when they come into hospital, they don't want to be there, they're quite sick, so it just helps just calm them down, make them comfortable. Um, when taking a pulse, never use your thumb because it is pulsatile. So you use your index finger and middle fingers. So uh, aim for where the thumb is. So that's for your radial pulse because your thumb is on a radius. Aim down, down into the wrist. So about a centimetre back from the wrist. And just place your fingers there. And you might have to move them around a bit to find the pulse. And then when you have the pulse, don't press too hard in because you might, the pulse will disappear under your fingers. Just firm enough so you can feel it. And feel for the pressure. Feel how fast is it? Is it bounding? Is it weak and thready? Is it a nice rolling pulse? And, and just have a good feel of the pulse and make sure it's there. Is the pulse regular? Is it irregular? Alright, so it's always good to do, so don't rely on SATS probes to get your heart rate, actually feel for what the patient's doing. So just to recap, um, we can take the pulses from the carotids, the brachial, the um, radial, also the femoral arteries, the popliteal, uh, posterior tibialis and the dorsal pedis. Um, use two fingers, um, not your thumb light pressure and just feel for it, feel for the pulse and count for 30 seconds so you can actually feel what's going on. Alright, that's it. Um, have a good day and thanks for listening to Nurse on the Go videos and look forward to seeing you soon. Bye bye.